Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to read through the full article here. It's fairly short. There's a link in the description. And I'm not sure how publicized this topic has been. I get the feeling that it hasn't been publicized. It's in relation to a mass shooting. Um, and thankfully, there were some angels around and also an outstanding hero was present at the area that this mass shooting started. So it happened in Charleston, West Virginia on Wednesday night. This scumbag that you see in front of you is called Dennis Butler. He's dead now, and I'm glad about that. The reason why I'm glad about that is because he was at a graduation party, and he had an AR-15 with him. So I think I'm right in saying that's an assault rifle. I know that the AR doesn't stand for assault rifle. I'm pretty sure I got that part right. But it's uh, I think it's generally considered an assault rifle. Um, he had one. He started shooting at dozens of people. He started shooting at dozens of people at the graduation party. Thankfully, miraculously, I don't quite understand how, but seemingly no one was harmed. Apart from this guy who got shot by a woman. Uh, so a woman had a pistol for self-defense and... Um, this guy started shooting with his AR-15 at dozens of people. This brave woman, and we don't know her name, uh, but this brave woman pulled out her pistol, shot this guy. We don't know how many shots were fired uh, by this guy, but we do know that she, thankfully, shot this scumbag dead. That's what happened. I mean, that, that's kind of unbelievable, isn't it? This guy had an AR-15. He was at a graduation party. He's an absolute psychopath. He was desperate to be yet another mass murderer. And thankfully, he's a cretin. He's a complete fuckwit. He fucked everything up. He didn't even harm anybody. He fired, apparently, dozens of shots. Or he, he uh, shot at dozens of people. Um, and thankfully this hero, this unknown hero, a woman, shot him dead. The woman stuck around. She spoke with police after the incident. You know, she wasn't hiding from the fact. She acted in the protection of herself and everybody else. And she absolutely did the right thing. She's an absolute hero. Um, so again, I don't know if you've heard about this case. Uh, th this article is a couple of days old now at this point. I'm a little bit slow. I'm trying to catch up with things. Um, but we ought to have heard about this, yeah? Not least because of the miracle that this scumbag wasn't able to even harm anybody. What a blessing there. But also that there's a hero with a gun. A woman who was able to stop this scumbag um so there's a lot of backlash in regards to gun control a lot of political uh talk um from various parties biden kamala harris uh beto uh, i can't remember his name beto beto rourke am i getting that right um the governor abbott uh, governor of texas i think i may have that wrong but there have been a lot of mass shootings recently, notably Rob Elementary School in Texas and the Buffalo shooting. Um, so this is something which we seem to be, or rather America seems to be in the midst of a wave at the moment. Uh, this happened Wednesday night. Um, so I believe I'm right in saying that the Buffalo shooting happened May the 17th. Is that right? Uh, less than two weeks ago. Um, a week following that, um, a little over a week following that, Rob Elementary happened, and this happened on Wednesday. So it seems like a wave. It seems like these mass shootings are happening thick and fast still. But thankfully, I can come to you with this story here, this true story, in that a hero woman who is currently unnamed, certainly by this article, um, saved a whole group of people from being murdered at the hands of this scumbag. Um, his name is Dennis Butler. Perhaps we 
shouldn't mention his name. Um, as we know from Shooter Research Community, uh, the friend of the channel, uh, Lalit, uh, you know, she said that, uh, well, you know, she refers to the likes of Dr. Jordan Peterson and others that claim that uh, these shooters, the mass shooters, are narcissists of the highest order. There's a, perhaps a more technical term than that. Um, and uh, th they want to go down in history. They want to be recognized. They want to be feared and loathed. Uh, that's their aim. And mentioning their name uh, feeds that. It gives them the reward that they're looking for. Um, so perhaps we should ought to step away from doing that. But in any case, thankfully, this fuckwit fucked up. He didn't harm anybody. Um, and again, full praise to the hero woman. Um, I hope that she is able to be named if if she's comfortable with that. I hope she does get the full respect and credit that she deserves. Um, perhaps it's not quite politically au fait to do that at the moment. Perhaps the political agenda is more in regards to restricting gun control and not highlighting uh, gun owners that are on occasion able to stop offenders like this. You know, and I have to say on occasion because going back to Rob Elementary School, we saw dozens and dozens of officers with all kinds of high powered rifles and such, all kinds of weaponry and technology, drones, um, smoke grenades, everything. They've got the full works outside of Rob Elementary School and those C words. That's how I feel at the moment. Those C words, those officers, they they weren't heroic. Apologies. Some of them were. Um, some of them were, but not enough of them. I mean, the heroes were the, the examples of the mother who, even when she was handcuffed, she ran into the school. She saved her two children. Um, and there's... I believe a couple of cases of police officers that did that themselves they ran in themselves as lone wolves as it were or you know without the full support of a squad behind them and they rescued their own children there were heroes at rob elementary school um, but there were also a shit ton of cowards um, i know i've gone on a bit of a rant there uh, but uh, full praise to the woman concerned that shot and killed this scumbag and again, I hope she gets the praise and the credit and the rewards that she deserves. Uh, I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. If we, if I've done a half decent job, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. Thanks for you Twitter guys that do share. I really appreciate that. I'm going to have to repay you guys because you're doing me a big, big favor. I'm not sure if you listen to my videos. But if you do, those guys that share me out on Twitter, really, really appreciate it. Or any other social media. Um... Uh, so I'm not that active on Twitter. I've got the account. I'm posting the videos on there, but I'm not really engaging too much beyond that. At this point, maybe that will change. Uh, but uh, in any case, I'll wrap things up here, guys, and take care.